Hey guys, what's going on? Rabbit here, and today we're back on the Sinking City. Today we're gonna go uh, find out where Throgmorton's son, like, was supposed to be with this expedition. Uh, Northern Coverside. Where is Northern Coverside? Northern Coverside. On the corner of what? Asher Road and Hubert Road. Hubert Road. So it should be right. Absolutely where the boat is. Wait, how am I supposed to get to it? Okay, so it's just right here.
crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Okay. I don't know exactly what it, I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. Only remember it, the screams and metal creaking water filling the deck and my headache. The worst I ever had. The follow I followed along I found myself among the floating seaweed drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive and reach the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The official said none of what I thought I had was seen was real, but my memory was true. My strange powers gained after that real ordeal proved it. I found something horrible on that island, something odd and dark, slithering, and it still haunts me. <laughs> Creepy. Done. Never again, they say. this I chug down the visions always return exerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the devil so you fall you're unconscious. Please take more good care of yourself in the future. I won't be there every time. Joins. Well, thank you, Mr. J. Huh, Joker. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Upstairs for a minute. No. No. Uh. No. No. Ah. 
Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What... what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? <sighs> Got any proof it was me? It could have been one of my neighbors. I slept like a rock. I... I didn't hear a thing. <sighs> That's exactly what a newcomer would say. Your neighbors are respectable people and would never do such a thing. Don't think your yellow-clad patron means you get away with everything. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. All right. I'm watching you, newcomer. I will read all these later because I don't think it's a main mission right now. Yeah, those are all side missions, so I might do those later right now. I'm just right back doing the main mission. Honey, you need to let me. Okay, it's a hooker. I don't need the key. Divers with the bins can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, 
impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of suffering and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, and words coming all out all weird. The paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. Sounds like I have to do a Throgmorton song. Someone smashed it beyond repair. deliver unreadable but Grim Heaven Bay no later than Friday Mark 5 Mark 5 diving suits 6 air tank and pumps 4 canned foods 8 crate, 18 crates personal belongings 6 crates with unreadable research equipment 7 crates do not unreadable Air pipes 24, phone station and wires 1, power generator 1, responsible for delay. Hmm. Oh my god, so I was on the sanity of. So that blue bar there is my, my sanity bar, so if it's too low, yeah, the stuff is gonna happen. Nah. Oh my god. Guess this helmet's beyond repair. I guess so. Oh, Casey. Okay. Grab the papers, smash the rest. Your ticket. Stand back. Let's swap first. Second. I fata me a fei regach. I burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Okay, so... 
probably wouldn't mind placing the check upstairs for anymore. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. substance floating in the ocean from J. Harwin. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely form deformed fish. The fish were taken for an anal uh, analysis. <sighs> Several locals mentioned a rock that rose from the, se the seabed, making the bog shine in different colors. The witness felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got several severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rug in his basement. Samples taken from analysis. analysis. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest tradition to its ranks. Professor, Professor Harriet Doe, her brilliant discoveries about the origin hey, I'll read all that later. Can't say I ever saw oh, another shell like it. That'll be it for today's episode, and the next episode we'll go see Throg Martin's reaction to his whole expedition dead. Um. Yeah, I got nothing. My guess is the sickness got to him. Uh, but you know, we'll leave this episode on that now. Uh, leave. Uh, Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.